হ্যালো সবাই আমি আমিনুর রহমান মেলবোর্ন থেকে বলছি আড্ডা ইন ইংলিশের আড্ডা ইন ইংলিশে এখানে স্ক্রিনে যাদেরকে দেখতে পাচ্ছেন তারা হলো বাংলাদেশের থেকে আড্ডা বাস ওকে ওরা সপ্তাহে তিন দিন ইংরেজিতে আড্ডা দেয় আর আমি হলাম উদ্দীপক উদ্দীপক বলতে পারেন আর কি আমি মেলবোর্ন থেকে ওদেরকে ইন্সপায়ার করি ওরা ওরা সবাই ইংরেজি লিখতে ও পড়তে পারে অনেক দিন পড়েছে এবং লিখেছে কিন্তু ওদের ইংরেজিতে বলা অভ্যাস ছিল না তাই ওরা এই প্ল্যাটফর্মে এসে আড্ডাতে ওরা ইংরেজিতে বলে আমি যখন এটা শেষ করব ইন্ট্রোডাকশনটা শেষ করব ওরা সবাই ইংরেজিতে কথা বলবে এরকম ওরা প্রায় এক বছর ধরে বলছে এবং গত দুই মাসে ওদের টপিকটা এক এক সময় এক এক টপিকে ওরা বলে যাদের যা ইচ্ছা হয় কিন্তু গত দুই মাসে ওরা সবাই এই বর্তমান বাংলাদেশে বর্তমান পরিস্থিতি সম্বন্ধে আড্ডা দিয়েছে আজকের থেকে ওরা একটু ভিন্ন হবে সবাই একটা বিষয় নিয়ে কথা বলবে যেন এক একটা ডিপার্টমেন্ট এই পঙ্কজ রায় যেরকম বলবে ইউথ অ্যান্ড স্পোর্টস সম্বন্ধে সবসময় এবং তাই বা বিনতে বুলবুল বলবে এই এডুকেশন সম্বন্ধে ও বলছে ওর হলো মিনিস্ট্রি অফ এডুকেশন তো ও এডুকেশন বাংলাদেশের এডুকেশনের সমস্যা কি করা উচিত কিভাবে কি চেঞ্জ করা উচিত ইত্যাদি সম্বন্ধে বলবে এবং প্রশান্ত প্রশান্ত প্রফেশনালি ওই ইয়েতেই আছে হেলথ মিনিস্ট্রিতে আছে ও হেলথ সম্বন্ধে বাংলাদেশের হেলথ মিনিস্ট্রি সম্বন্ধে কথাবার্তা বলবে আর ধ্রুব তুমি কি সম্বন্ধে বলবে তুমি কোন মিনিস্ট্রির ধ্রুব তোমার বলে দিয়েছিলাম যে তোমরা কি কি কে কোন সম্বন্ধে কোন বিষয় সম্বন্ধে বলবে এবং রিসার্চ করবে এবং সব সময় তুমি ওই ওই বিষয়টা নিয়ে আলোচনা করবে এই আড্ডাতে তুমি কি সে বলবে আর ডক্টর মোবাশ্বর এসে গেছে ডক্টর মোবাশ্বর তুমি কোন বিষয় নিয়ে ডিল করবে কোন মিনিস্ট্রি তোমার মিনিস্ট্রি কি my ministry is health ministry but yeah. maybe a portion to already took yeah. uh, health yeah. ministry i can i can take via uh, education ministry if uh, no one uh, no no it. education ministry is also taken by binte okay by uh, uh, environmental uh, in uh, total ministry name i don't know uh, rizwana hasan is now in uh, okay. Uh, okay water and the- ওকে today you will be doing extempore but for next day you will have to be more serious so that because i'll be posting this uh, to the facebook pages of uh, uh, upadeshtas uh, asif and uh, uh, what's the other person name navid okay they are on facebook okay. i'll i'll forward these over there to their uh, facebook pages and they can uh, their uh, 
other other people who look at their pages may see them and and uh, yeah say, do whatever they like. Okay, so, so we can start with our youth and sports minister, Mr. Pankaj Roy. So you go ahead. Uh, thank you, sir, for giving me permission uh, uh, to speak about uh, our um, sport and youth and sport uh, ministry. Uh, we know that uh, from uh, August 9th, 9th August uh, 2024, uh, uh, Mr. Asif Mahmoud has taken uh, the, he, he has joined joined the ministry and um, uh, youth and sports um you know that uh, one third of our people uh, population they are youth and uh, <clears throat> um the beginning i want to say that uh, yesterday um uh, Bangladesh cricket team uh youth player they they were uh, they are meeting uh, to the uh, our honorable uh, chief uh, chief advisor uh, dr yunus and uh, Dr. Yunus welcomed them very well, and uh, warm welcome uh, they received by the uh, chief advisor. Um, I mentioned that one third of our population they are youth, so it's very important uh, uh, for for our country uh, to uh, for our development. Uh, uh, country's uh, development uh, youth are the main um, uh, pillar. So. Uh, uh, the ministry uh, should use to them and uh, um, now the current uh, situation in Bangladesh we know that um, students uh, and uh, general people are uh, they um, against a movement and uh, uh, they protest the uh, uh, fascist government against the fascist government and uh, um, from uh, 5th August, uh, they achieved uh, another independent. So, uh, youth are, are the main steam uh, in, in our country. So, uh, students, uh, we, uh, we are uh, facing some problems that uh, students, protesters, and um, general publics, they are uh, discriminated by uh, each other. Uh, so, um, government should stay uh, Necessary steps to um, guide guide uh, the uh, students and uh, and uh, we know that uh, um, from six to uh, honors or masters level students after finishing their um, masters or honors exam they remain uh, unemployed. So unemployment problem is the major problem of our country. Um, uh, Mr. Asif Mahamud, he should take uh, proper steps to um, lessen the illiterate problem, uh, sorry, um, unemployment problem. And uh, um, we know Juba Unoen, Juba Unoen uh, is uh, uh, training is very necessary uh, in our country. Lots of um, youth, uh, they need a proper training. Uh, not only, we know uh, vocational uh, school, we have a uh, lots of vocational school. Uh, we should uh, introduce vocational training for each and every student um, to uh, get, uh, we know uh, in Japan or China, they have lots of um, uh, polytechnic institutes uh, or uh, vocational institutes. Uh, we should establish a uh, lots of vocational institutes in our country so that young people, they take um, uh, training from there. Also, uh, sports is very important uh, for our developing our mind and also introduce uh, our country uh, all over the world. We know uh, our lots of uh, cricketers uh, they they are uh, playing world uh, class uh, playing. Uh, some days ago they uh, beat uh, quite a uh, Pakistan uh, in Test match, and um, Sakib Al Hassan uh, he, he was the uh, number one all-rounder uh, uh, all over the world in cricket. Uh, if uh, we take, um, uh, we uh, lessen uh, uh, corruption from the 
um, uh, BCB and also uh, uh, our uh, Football Federation, also NSC uh, um, and uh, and uh, uh, our uh, we, we know that uh, uh, Olympic Games uh, some people they some uh, sports player they uh, are uh, taking they were taking uh, uh, part in the uh, game so we should take from very uh, uh, from the uh, beginning we should start uh, from village to, village to uh, the uh, city level and we, we should start the uh, talent from the village level also and uh, um, uh, we, the budget uh, we need lots of budget uh, to uh, give the young star to take part in a, a sports and uh, BKSP is the main uh, we know a, a government institution to uh, make a, a player uh, so uh, so we need uh, lots of uh, coach uh, high profile coach uh, in uh, uh, BKSP and uh, we should give uh, lots of budget in the uh, sports development uh, in every uh, district level and uh, divisional uh, level uh, also. Uh, also uh, in school, uh, we should uh, uh, arrange a lots of uh, school uh, sports uh, uh, competition after that upazila level uh, competition and after that we should uh, talent hunt uh, from the school levels, college levels, and uh, after that we um, should make a um, uh, proper training to them. And uh, we also uh, should take uh, lots of training for the uh, youth development. Also, uh, outsourcing is, a, um, uh, is also needed in our country uh, so that uh, all the young stars, they can take a training. Uh, so I I request uh, the, the youth and uh, uh, sports uh, ministry that, that to encourage the um, youth people to uh, train to them, uh, train uh, them, and uh, uh, we should use the young star to develop our uh, uh, country, and uh, this is how we can make change our uh, Bangladesh. And um, the goal uh, will be uh, uh, to develop uh, the mentality of youngsters and uh, to train them. Uh, our Bangladesh will be a, a good and prosperous nation. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Pankaj Rai, talking about uh, youth and sports in Bangladesh. Now, let us see what our Binti Bulbul has to say about the education situation in our country now. Okay, over to you, Binti Bulbul. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I'm Taiba Binti Bulbul. My today's topic uh, will be Ministry of Education, and I will uh, talk uh, what I want to see what changes I want to see in this sector. So we know uh, in our country, the education system is at a critical juncture and it's uh, and this sector is grappling with various uh, problems. Uh, and the main problem is the curriculum. It's a new curriculum. And the health ministry has already uh, decided to, uh, decided to, uh, continue the previous uh, uh, previous curriculum uh, from the next year and uh, we are hoping for the best for that and um, and for, for the uh, weak curriculums i think that's why students are much more uh, rely on the guidebooks coaching centers and uh, the, and there is uh, created a gap between the uh, schools and uh, the schools and the students now students don't want to go to school that much uh, so they are just um, 
tuition or uh, coaching based so uh, th this uh, should be should be removed and another problem is child marriage in our country it's a it's a barrier uh, for the uh, for the women education uh, in my country and and uh, about 51% uh, girls uh, before reaching 18 are married off so and the women are a big part of our country so except this part uh, it's not uh, can be ensured the development of our country so uh, so steps should be taken uh, in this sector too and uh, another sector is the sh uh, shortage of qualified teachers uh, mainly in the rural areas and corruption in um, teacher recruitment exacerbates this issue and even a teacher uh, received training uh, it's not uh, practical that much Mo mostly it is um, uh, theoretical uh, so we have to make change and uh, we have to make change in this area too and uh, personally i can remember in my when I was a student of my school, uh, the Sharik Shikha teachers are not fit enough to uh, to show us the moves or the exercises that we needed to learn, needed to practice. So I think uh, so I think the, this should be uh, organized that uh, like that uh, the Sharik Shikha teachers uh, can do something like they are fit enough to uh, practice uh, to show the practices to and exercises to and i think as in bangladesh uh, we the students and general people faces a lot of face a lot of problems like mainly the uh, female students they face uh, they are to face if teasing rape or mocking bullying uh, sometimes uh, kidnapping. So I think uh, self-defense program should be a must and compulsory uh, in the school sector, in my opinion, so that they can tackle with any adverse situation uh, they face. And another thing to happen is that um, military training, like other countries like uh, Korea, uh, if, uh, if something like that is organized in our country it will be very helpful because uh, the military training uh, brings a uh, discipline and responsibility uh, leadership skills and physical and mental resilience to the students and they become a, sk a skilled person and uh, and these skills uh, prepare a person uh, to participate in the actions uh, for the betterment of a country when a country needs the young people a lot. So I think uh, military training should also be included uh, in the education sector, uh, like after, uh, like before uh, 30 or 32 years. And in addition to these challenges, Bangladesh education system must urgently address the lack of climate uh, education too as uh, Bangladesh um, uh, as a country most vulnerable to climate change. Bangladesh needs um, needs uh, students who are careful uh, before anything, any uh, calamities uh, ha uh, uh, happened, happened. So uh, this should be included too. And I want to mention another, another thing that uh, recently, uh, some uh, some teachers are being forcefully uh, forcefully are be uh, are being forced to uh, re resign from their jobs. Uh, it shouldn't be done like this. Or if they really do something unethical, or uh, if they are engaged in any uh, corruption, 
then there is law they should uh, they should be bring after punishment not like uh, they shouldn't be resigned for the force of the students this is disrespecting disrespectful so uh, this practice should be stopped as soon as possible and and another thing is that uh, in the lockdown phase uh, during the corona pandemic uh, we lost almost one year and a half of our life so um, and now also we are going to lose almost three months uh, after the idul adha so just because uh, the administration uh, hasn't appointed in the universities. So we will urge to uh, for the appointment of the administration as soon as possible, because uh, we need to go back to our classroom as, uh, as soon as possible, because we are already in a three month uh, session jot, uh, and the authority should uh, look after this, uh, this topic too, and Another thing uh, that is happening is that uh, in the male halls of the universities, of the uh, public universities, that uh, normally uh, during the uh, during the realm of Amelik party, uh, any students uh, had to, uh, especially the male students, they had to. Uh, support army league to get a seat in the halls because uh, they didn't get enough uh, financial support from their family and uh, that's why they had to bribe the army league leaders uh, who are in charge of the halls i can say so these uh, they are they are just the victims of the party and now they are getting a lot of disrespects and uh, they are they are being humiliated, criticized, and insulted, and this uh, this should be stopped. And I think those who uh, those who are engaged in or those who uh, committed some uh, misdeeds, they should they should be brought under punishment. But these people, the normal people who are just the victims of the those people, they should. Uh, uh, they should be ensured safety. That's it. And realizing a full potential of Bangladesh, Bangladesh's educational system requires a comprehensive and strategic approach. This includes increasing public investment in education, strengthening because data management system, and establishing clear um, accountability mechanisms. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Thank you very much, Taiba Binte Bulbu, Minister of Education. I wish <coughs> I was a student now, then I would get training, army training, and all sorts of other training besides just uh, reading books and all. Okay, now let us go to the Health Minister, Prashanta Das. Uh, thank you, sir, for giving me the chance. Uh, uh, we all know that uh, in Bangladesh, the major problems in health uh, sector is the ratio of uh, nurses, doctor, and uh, general people ratio. Because uh, in a rural area and all over the Bangladesh, we are uh, not uh, able to uh, give the uh, proper nurses, uh, nurses and doctors uh, and the general people ratio. I mean, uh, we are not maintaining the uh, maintaining the ratio, uh, this ratio. So first thing uh, we Though uh, first thing is that uh, our um, present health advisor, Dr. Uh, health advisor, Anurjan Begum, uh, I think she should uh, take uh, steps to uh, minimize this, uh, 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 minimize this uh, ratio. And uh, the other thing is that uh, uh, we all uh, we all know that the availability of the uh, medicine in our uh, country is not uh, suitable, and uh, we. Uh, Though uh, we in the urban area, we ur urban area and the tertiary hospital, uh, we and the general people uh, 
find the uh, find some medi uh, medication one in the but in the rural area uh, uh, the general people they are not uh, found the uh, proper medications or medicine and uh, this is the another problem in our health sector and uh, the other problem is that uh, uh, the uh, other problem is that the uh, the uh, uh, uses of antibiotics uh, and in our uh, bangladesh especially because uh, we all know that uh, the uh, non medical person those who are uh, uh, completed a, a six months or a small duration of course in uh, in our country and then they uh, give uh, they uh, provide uh, medications in our rural uh, pharmacy or dispensary and they provide uh, high power antibiotics uh, for uh, a simple reason like fever or uh, something else uh, so uh, these uh, steps should be taken by uh, pro uh, taken that uh, the person who has no uh, medical uh, a proper medical background they are not able to uh, give uh, some uh, uh, high power antibiotics because uh, you know that uh, uh, the antibiotic resistance uh, 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 statistics or rate in uh, bangladesh is uh, growing increasing very rapidly and uh, the and uh, at the uh, in, a, in a in some uh, research uh, we i found that uh, that uh, i and in the uh, world scholar that uh, in some after two or three decades uh, in Bangladesh, most of the antibiotics are in resistance for uh, Bangladeshi people. So it's very concerning for us. And uh, the other thing is that uh, we, when, uh, for example, when I go to uh, in Manigon's uh, Cornell Malays Medical Hospital or Manigon's Shodar Hospital, uh, we found that uh, there are uh, many uh, people who those who are broker, they also, uh, they have also their political uh, powers and uh, uh, political uh, backgrounds uh, and they uh, try to uh, try to convert the uh, general patients uh, to uh, go to the nearest uh, private clinical uh, clinic or the diagnostic center and uh, the and the uh, behind cause is that uh, uh, for this reason is that uh, the uh, low scale of uh, low scale of salary for the doc doctors uh, because uh, 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 the uh, government doctors or medical officers those who uh, uh, those who uh, take some uh, only a few or uh, not uh, not high not high uh, salary from the uh, government and that's why they uh, they always try to uh, they always try to find the another uh, income source and they uh, see the uh, see the patients in the uh, uh, clinics and they provide extra care and the uh, extra con concentration at in the uh, private clinic so i uh, these steps also uh, should be taken to remove uh, to uh, uh, reduce uh, these kinds of problem and um, the uh, uh, and the another thing is that the corruption uh, in the field of the health ministry uh, we all know that uh, uh, the health ministry in the uh, year uh, in the few years ago uh, and the, at the time of corona pandemic uh, the our health me our health sector is uh, uh, though uh, the uh, former uh, former uh, hasina regime uh, uh, told that they are uh, successfully uh, uh, defend the uh, defend the corona uh, corona corona pandemic but uh, all the people uh, know that they uh, they are not uh, they are not uh, do too much uh, uh, and uh, this is the uh, political uh, perspective and uh, and in as a uh, students uh, i also uh, for the medical uh, medical students or for the medical background students uh, the uh, curriculum should be taken uh, as a nurse i told uh, the for only the nurses curriculum uh, a nurses curriculum the uh, ratio of uh, practice and the uh, uh, theoretical part is not uh, up to the mark in our bangladesh uh, nursing curriculum and the other problem is that uh, the the short term uh, short term medical courses like uh, pct uh, patient care service, uh, patient care technician and the uh, 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 and and uh, so, uh, like this uh, this kind of uh, courses uh, Hampers the uh, hampers the our health uh, health ministry and uh, health sectors because uh, as a student of BSc uh, we uh, we took uh, uh, we take uh, four years for uh, to uh, 
uh, for uh, complete our graduation as a BSc nurse. But uh, in the in the same case, uh, when a person after uh, passing a uh, eight or uh, or after passing HSC, they only took uh, only take uh, six months to uh, complete their uh, courses, and then they are are available in the uh, field of uh, medical sectors, and they provide care to the patients. And uh, this uh, this is the uh, uh, imbalance in our uh, in our country we are uh, facing uh, we are facing and uh, the other thing is that uh, uh, we uh, re recently we faced uh, some uh, doctors movement uh, we uh, we uh, saw some doctors movement that at uh, the patient's party uh, attack on our uh, doctors and the uh, medical staff so, so if the government should take and uh, uh, and uh, should take uh, steps to uh, in uh, install a uh, install a, a health a health law i think uh, it uh, this kind of uh, 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 this kind of uh, this kind of operance can be uh, should be uh, reduced uh, so uh, these things are from uh, from my end uh, thank you sir okay thank you very much uh, prashant das i hope uh, uh, if i fall ill in bangladesh i'll be well looked after by nurses and doctors and uh, and the uh, ambulance and all these things. Uh, I hope otherwise uh, I'll be not very happy. Uh, I, I won't like to go to Bangladesh at this age because I am more susceptible to illness and other things. Uh, and I should also get uh, medicines. Uh, you said the medicines are also not available. Anyway, I hope things will improve soon so that uh, everybody gets proper medical care. Okay, next, uh, uh, Dr. Mubashar Ahmed. Uh, he is a medical doctor uh, by profession, uh, but he'll be talking about water and environment. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Bhaya, for giving me the chance to talk something about, uh, about my ministries. And uh, it is uh, totally two different uh, ministries I hold. One is Water Resource Ministries, and another is Environment, uh, Forest, and Climate Change uh, Ministry. Yeah, I oh, I want to share something uh, about uh, Environment, Forest, and uh, Climate Change uh, Ministry for this. Yeah, Bangladesh is a climate affected country world's ninth ranked climate affected country in in the world and though our uh, emission global uh, in global warming our contribution is only 0.47 percent but uh, uh, we are most uh, mostly affected by uh, world uh, global warming situation and and you know within 2050, our 17% uh, land uh, will be, uh, it, it is a data from World Bank, and our 17% land, agricultural land, uh, will be uh, unusable by rise, rising sea levels water. And for that reason, our some districts uh, will be uh, basically uninhabitable, uh, but our contribution to global warming is really very low. So this environmental uh, changes, uh, we should cooperate. We must cooperate with uh, United Nations and other uh, countries of the world because uh, we uh, we are the victim here and we won't uh, able to do uh, everything by our own, own means. So we must cooperate with uh, international bodies. And uh, our, uh, for uh, environmental control, I, we need uh, more forest in our countries. Now 15 to 17% of our lands are covered with uh, forest. Um, but uh, it's also decreasing, it is also decreasing day by day. 
it is really challenging to balance uh, between uh, agriculture productivity and forest reservation because we are we are agriculture uh, based uh, uh, our economy is uh, comp uh, more agriculture based so it is really difficult uh, and you know our uh, forest uh, deforestation is uh, increasing uh, day by day and uh, some la some land in crossers uh, are uh, our say, industrial leaders and many industrial leaders built their industry after encroaching land uh, uh, from forest it is well known that uh, suppose uh, our administrative association uh, uh, our uh, main uh, administration uh, administrative officers uh, officers association it is administers administration uh, officers association they took 700 uh, hectares uh, land uh, for in cox bazar and they uh, took this by by destroying forest in that region it yeah i i uh, i told just as an example there are a lot of industries uh, who is uh, built uh, by deforestation and you know for agriculture uh, productivity increase agriculture productivity our many self forest uh, forest uh, from gazipur destroyed and uh, now they are cultivating pineapple or different types of uh, foods in in those area but our forest is a lifeline for a country so we uh, we need to preserve forest in uh, any cost so at first uh, i wanted to uh, give you some good news that after uh, taking power after after uh, appointed as a uh, for uh, environmental advisor i i already applied uh, for cancelling uh, administrative associations uh, land that uh, or uh, be, uh, that uh, grabbed by uh, deforesting in cox bazar and uh, and already uh, you know that already uh, cox bazars uh, that administrative lands uh, cancel, uh, cancelled uh, by our court and they gave a stay order on acquiring the, those lands. And, uh, and uh, we also, uh, you know, our government has uh, very less time. So we maybe we won't be able to solve all the problems, but uh, we must give uh, planning must give her planning and some example so that uh, our next uh, elected government uh, will take action by this uh, planning and uh, and uh, we we should uh, we must plan to, uh, to give a law so that every people irrespective of any political uh, political holding or any power or a, any landlord so that every people who will grab land from forest will be punished or we will ensure that um, maybe uh, it it is by law or any other means and we will involve uh, uh, international bodies uh, to overlook uh, this uh, so, uh, this uh, step and uh, another uh, challenge uh, we face that is uh, water pollution. Our our uh, rivers all over the country. Our we have many rivers, and most of them are polluted by sewage pollution or by industrial pollution. You know, our uh, Burigonga River is completely polluted, and its water is not usable. And uh, and biodiversity of uh, Burigonga River is also already damaged so uh, we we will plan our uh, plan to uh, remove pollution from uh, buriganga river you know thames river in england uh, they uh, they cleared its pollution by 10 years and uh, we also need we need uh, more time uh, to 
clear water pollution from Buriganga River, only Buriganga River. There are lots of Buriganga River uh, types of pollution in our, over the country. So uh, it is our first planning so that uh, the new generation who waste and, and demonstration against our fascist regime and independent again our country uh, so that uh, they can realize that it is possible. It is not an imaginary dream. It is a possibility uh, to clear pollution from a river. And for that uh, reason, we should uh, take, we will take a step to clear pollution from Burigonga River and we will divert uh, the sewage planning uh, so that uh, they will divert from Burigonga River and they, uh, and it will be uh, maybe 30 to 40 percent pollution free if we divert the sewage uh, drain, drains in Dhaka city. Another thing is, uh, industrial pollution so we will uh, pla we will uh, pla uh, identify the how many industri industrial industrial uh, uh, industry throw their uh, materials through their waste product in Buriganga river and we will meet them we will talk with them and we will plan an alternative planning of uh, for that uh, and by this way, maybe uh, over some years, it will be totally uh, pollution free. And uh, and uh, after that, uh, our in uh, our other rivers we will plan. And next uh, next uh, government or government will I think they will take initiative after uh, after taking example from Burigonga River. And, uh, and uh, 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 there is uh, another, some other problems uh, uh, regarding water management. You know, recent flood uh, gives uh, us uh, uh, a lesson uh, to cooperate, to cooperate with, uh, with our neighbors, country like India, so that they will give information about rainy rain, about uh, their rising levels of water so that we will take uh, uh, time we, we will uh, get times to time to prepare ourselves to uh, counter the bad effect of flood so that we give a proposal to our uh, indian government so that they share they uh, share uh, information regarding regarding rains regarding and flood and they also uh, agree with us and uh, and i hope we will get information from them time to time so that we can mitigate the uh, effect of floods thank you Bhaya. thank you very much dr mubashar ahmed uh, talking about two very important uh, uh, areas uh, water and environment and i may tell you when i was young when i was at uh, uni we swam on Buriganga River. That is unthinkable today, isn't it? Yeah, it must be full of germs, E. coli and other things over there. So if I swim there, I'll get sick. Or, or even a young person, I won't swim now. Now the water is black and dirty, but we did swim when we were young. We used to go all over and we used to cross the river. Okay, so that is impossible. Okay, Mr. Dhruvo is not prepared today, so he won't speak. So if you have any questions to the other person, please do so. Bhaya, Raise Bhaya your hand. Maybe, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bhaya, maybe Dhruvo Mitro uh, gave message uh, to take uh, business, uh, business uh, ministry. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he will he will talk about business and commerce ministry next time. He's not prepared today. But if among you or including Bhubamuto, if you have a question to another person, please do so. Raise your hand and then ask the question, and that person uh, in charge of that particular department or ministry will answer to the best of his or her knowledge. Okay. Come on, raise your hand. If you have no, if nobody raises their hand, if nobody has any question, then we'll <laughs> disperse today. But this was different, so it will we'll carry this 
uh, next time also we'll do the same thing. You'll be talking. So you do a lot of research <coughs> and see what is happening in your <coughs> ministry or department and uh, how, what are the serious problems and how you should address them. Uh, or if, if something has been addressed already, you can talk about that. Okay. All right. Any questions to another person? Hmm? No? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, can, I, can I include another ministry next day? Yes. Yes. What ministry? Uh, public administration. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, Minister of Education and Public Administration. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. We will post this in the FP uh, group of uh, Nahid and uh, what's the other person's name? Uh, Asif. As Asif. 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 Yeah. Asif Bunya and Nahid Islam. So we'll put them there and uh, their followers will read them and, and, and they also may uh, watch them and, and have some comments. Okay. And this, as we said earlier, this, this is an English Adda. English ad, Adda, everybody understand. And Adda in English means we have the Adda in this particular language. We all know how to read and write English, but we did not have enough practice in speaking English because that was not part of our curriculum in school. So we have completed, many of you have completed uh, your graduation and medicine, and still we did not have enough practice in speaking English. So through this platform, we have become free at least. Okay, we don't speak like an Englishman or an American, but we are free. We understand anything and we can speak. Maybe we make mistakes, that's a foreign language. So we are allowed to make mistakes, but we can still speak and communicate our thoughts to other people who do not understand Bengali. So we have to talk to them in English. Hmm. We have to talk to anybody who does not speak Bengali in English, in different fields, in business, uh, international affairs, when we go to study abroad. So this is a platform we have in one year, we have done quite well. We don't feel shy. First of all, we were very shy to speak English. Oh, how, how will I sound? I, I don't know how to speak English. Then we overcame the shyness. Then came the fluency, fluency. Now we are all pretty fluent, pretty fluent. We speak, uh, okay, we make, I, I make mistakes. I've been speaking English for the last hundred years or so, and I still make mistakes. So that's nothing wrong. As long as I can get my thought across from me to the other person, I, I suddenly, and again, if you get, uh, now you have, a floating dictionary you have always in your hand. So if you cannot come across a word, you can't think of a word, you can always look it up. See the translation from, you can get it from Bengali to English or any any language to you. So anyway, uh, if you have no more questions, we will end our session today. And today is uh, Thursday, isn't it? Yeah, Thursday, so Sunday, Sunday will come back and Sunday we can either have this or we can uh, do the uh, Merchant of Venice, whichever you like. What, what do you like? Okay, Merchant of Venice. How many people would like to do the Merchant of Venice? Raise your hands. Or those who, uh, right hand is Merchant of Venice, left hand is the same thing. Okay, Adda. Come on. Left hand is Adda. One Adda, one Adda. Come on, raise your hand, two Adda. Okay, so we will do the Adda again. Okay, Adda, and stick to your ministry and do a lot of reading and viewing. Okay, look at the English newspapers. I, I normally read the Daily Star 
uh, Dhaka Tribune and Prothomalo English, these three. And, and the YouTube, a lot of uh, rubbish is there. You can find a lot of, every day I find the president has resigned huh? and, and such and such minister has resigned and blah, 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 all sorts of funny things. So uh, it's better to read from the newspaper, okay? So, uh, and soon the, uh, a, a team is going to uh, America, uh, Professor Yunus and six um, other members are going to America and he will try to s meet some uh, leaders, including uh, our neighbor, um, the, uh, Mr. Modi, whether, he will be able to do so is another question, but he will definitely be able to meet uh, uh, a prime minister of Pakistan. So, so anyway, if you have no more questions, we will end the session here today. Goodbye and good luck. Okay.